Right you guys, got another video here for you. This USB device will help you repair your PC. This uh, little device is from Dockcase. It's a pocket M.2 NVMe smart SSD enclosure. There's the specs right there on the screen. It's made of aluminium and uh, it's got a nice tempered glass display on here. Now this will help you show you the health status of your device. It will display the live transfer readouts and also has a power loss protection and read only mode on this device. Inside the kit, you're gonna get your cable. This is a type C cable, as you can see here, super fast data transfer speeds on this one. The device itself, as you can see, very, very small device, 1.7 inches in size, 45 grams. It also supports 10 GPPS. Also up to two terabytes can be put into this little small device with the uh, 2230 SSD form factor on this one. So yeah, a really nice little device. I wanted to show you this one and I'll show you how to set this up so you can use this for uh, either storing data. You can also use this for a PC repair as well. And I'll show you how to set that up in a second and I'll show you inside the actual device. But first, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, or maybe you want Office, then check out the links in the video description. You can click on the Buy Now button and basically add my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order. Once you submit your audio, they will send you the key, and then you can head over to the activation center and activate your version of Windows. So I've got the actual back casing off now, and you can see here, this is the actual device. There's a little thermal pad on here as well to keep the device cool inside when you put the drive in. This is actually inside here. It's amazing how they've managed to get everything so small in here. And again, you can put up to two terabytes in this device, which means that is plenty of storage for a little device of this size. It also has that capacitor in there, which uh, helps protect from uh, data loss as well. Now, these drives are really tiny, as you can see, they are 2230 uh, form factor here. So we can put those into this little device here. Like I said, you have to make sure that you don't go above two terabytes because I think this is all it supports up to. But that should be plenty of uh, data storage for you. Now, again, this card they've sent me is only 128 gig uh, SK Hynix, I think it is, uh, which isn't a very fast card. So you can get faster ones, which will go a lot faster than what this card will do. But this will do just for this sort of uh, tutorial here. I'm just going to put the back case on here. And I'll show you some of the sort of cards you can get for this particular device. Now, I've got it plugged in here. And as you can see, there is a display on here, which will give you lots of information about the actual device, like live transfer readouts here, the health status of that SSD. Also, it gives you some other useful information, uh, like uh, the read-only mode. And also, you do have that power loss protection on here. So if you're looking for a small, portable, a compact device which has a display on it like this and also has the capability of having up to two terabytes on here then this little device is the one for you you could use this for backing up data or you can use it for pc repair if you put a pc repair toolkit on here which i'll show you in a second i'll put some sort of toolkit on here so you can see so you can repair pcs but it's great for that type of stuff and because of the size of it, it's very portable. What doesn't take up a lot of weight. And again, it can store up to two terabytes of stuff on here. And with those super fast data transfer speeds uh, of up to 10 Gbps, which is super fast speeds. Now, obviously, that's going to depend on the type of drive you put inside here. This drive in here is a 128 gigabyte uh, SK uh, Hynix, I think, is inside here. And again, these are the sort of speeds I'm getting from this particular type of drive. And uh, I'll give you the full specs here in a second so you'll be able to see them. The actual uh, reads and writes here, 1,043 reads compared to 1,100 writes on the uh, drive itself, which is not too bad. But you can buy faster drives, like I've said here, uh, depending on how much you want to spend. A one terabyte version here would cost you in the region of these sort of prices you can see here. If you go up to two terabytes, obviously the price is going to start jumping up here. This drive here is a pretty fast drive. This is a one terabyte drive. And again, you can expect super fast speeds of 4,750 MBS on this particular drive, which is super fast speeds. Now, I can't validate all of these speeds because obviously I haven't tested all of these drives in that particular device. 
So you have to sort of check the website to see what sort of speeds you can expect from these particular types of devices. Because I've tested external devices before and they've never reached the speeds that those uh, drives can actually achieve. So take that in mind if you're buying a really fast uh, drive. So I've booted up to uh, Medicat here and I've got this onto this device here. So this particular type of uh, device can run, say, Medicat on it, and which will have plenty of programs on here to back up your computer, do data recovery, or maybe you want to do some troubleshooting or whatever it may be. There's plenty of programs to choose from on here. Again, uh, you've got uh, backup and recovery, antivirus programs here, and uh, there's other stuff on here like boot repair, there's also live environments you can boot to on this device as well. Uh, you can see here we have some other stuff here. I'm not going to go too much into these because there's quite a few of them. And uh, I'm just going to show you here some diagnostic tools. There's plenty of diagnostic tools where you can scan the memory to make sure the memory is working OK. You can scan the hard drive to make sure the drive is in good working order. You can even boot to a live operating system like, uh, say, for instance, one of these here. I'll go to this mini Windows 10 version here and I'll boot to this to show you the power of uh, Medicat, which will help you resolve problems with your computer. So let me boot up to this live environment and I'll show you basically what you can do with something like this. So the operating systems that this little device supports is Windows 7, 8.1, 10 and 11, Mac OS uh, 10.6 or later. It also supports iPad OS. 12.0.1 uh, or later, Linux, Android, PlayStation 5, Chrome OS, Harmony. It supports all of those uh, operating systems. The uh, cable itself is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 cable, which is USB-C to USB-C uh, forward slash a data cable. So once we load up into this actual live environment here, you may be wondering why you'd use something like this. Well, maybe you want to scan your memory you would have all the tools to run a scan on your memory to see if your memory is failing. Maybe you want to scan your hard drive to see whether your hard drive is failing or it's going bad. You can do that here. Maybe you want to back up some data. Uh, maybe you want to check uh, some firmware updates here. We can do that here. Uh, we can also uh, transfer data from uh, the machine to another device if you wanted to by booting into here. We can back up all the computer data or maybe clone the drive, you can use this method here as well. So we've got loads of things you can do here with these particular types of uh, toolkits, and they're very, very useful for PC repair technicians or people that are looking to uh, maybe try to troubleshoot and fix their own PC. Now you'll see here, there's also a lot of decryption tools inside here. So if your PC did get hit with uh, some sort of ransomware, you can then boot to this device and decrypt all your files by using this particular toolkit, which is really useful because ransomware is on the rise and you can use this to clean up the system and recover all your data. So pretty good for that particular type of work here. So again, it depends on what you're wanting to do with your PC, but this toolkit has pretty much everything inside here, which will help you reset Windows passwords and do all that useful stuff as you would with any sort of uh, toolkit like this. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this video helps you out. I'll leave all the links in the video description if you're interested. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. And I'll sure catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.